Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018 is here with its new naming convention that uses the date of the upcoming year. It has some great new features, so let's take a look. I'll start with my favorite, Open Closed Eyes, which you can access from the Enhance menu. Seriously, it's as easy as one click to transfer eyes from a photo with open eyes to a photo with closed eyes. Watch my video called Open Closed Eyes to see it in action and to get a tip for people with glasses. Next comes the Auto Selection tool in the same group as the Quick Selection tool. Wouldn't it be nice to select an object or person in a photo instantly with one tool? The Auto Selection tool gets closer to that goal than any other selection tool. Click and drag a rectangle around the subject. And when you let go of the mouse, Photoshop Elements places a selection around it. Does it make a perfect selection? Occasionally, yes. But most often, as with every selection tool, you'll need to zoom in and adjust or refine the edges. But it makes getting started so much easier. Watch my video called Auto Selection to see this tool in action. Photoshop Elements 2018 has four new guided edits. The Replace Background Guided Edit lets you remove a boring or cluttered background and replace it with something a lot more fun. You can use some of the presets that they have and these are a lot of fun. Or you can import your own photo, as I did here, to create a spooky background. Watch my video called Replace Background to see exactly how I did this. Next on my list is a guided edit called Watercolor Effect that turns an ordinary photo into an artistic watercolor. You can choose between a more traditional watercolor look or an abstract painting. Watch my video called Watercolor Effect to see how it works. Another guided edit is called Shape Overlay. Use it to embellish a photo by choosing a shape to highlight the main subject and then choosing an effect for both the shape and the background. The last new guided edit is called Double Exposure, where you can mix two photos together intentionally to create an artistic effect. I had the least amount of success with this guided edit, but give it a whirl and see what you think. Now let's take a quick look at the organizer, which has one of my favorite new features. With this version, Adobe put a lot of effort into making the organizer run faster and more efficiently, but it also has two really nice new features. Auto Curate in the upper right corner uses content intelligence to choose the best photos in any group of photos based on clarity, lighting, composition, and people. It's a great starting point when you have tons of photos from a family vacation and want to create a photo book or scrapbook page. Use a slider to choose more or fewer photos. Creating a slideshow has gotten a lot easier. I'll select a group of photos and videos and click on slideshow in the taskbar. And the organizer will create a terrific slideshow complete with theme and music. Of course, you're still in charge and can make any changes you want to the theme or photo arrangement. Watch my video on these features of the organizer to learn more. So there you have a quick overview of the great new features of Photoshop Elements 2018. This is Linda Satgast with Quick Learn Photoshop Elements.